Good morning everybody and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So let's look at the levels drawn in from yesterday and you can see we had some pretty interesting price action. Uh, a range bar most of the day was pretty much sideways and uh, we're sort of trending up at the moment. Uh, we've come back to the 150 here on the 8 hour so that is a fairly significant level and I just want to use so we've got a a measured move target up here of this uh, triangle break here so I'm um, two minds whether that's going to transpire just uh, I have had a, a look at the US markets already so at this level where we are now at 120.797 that is offering some form of uh, interest to me so a couple of things on on the table at the moment we have uh, shoulder head shoulder this is my line in the sand 12528 so at the moment we are trending up we have got a inverse head and shoulders inverse head and shoulders is this level up here at 121567 on the one hour we've got a crossover we do have a bit of a another crossover happening with 155 EMA so I would assume pull back into this area here opportunity to buy so 125.28 opportunity to buy with a move up to 121.567 so that is pretty much what I'm seeing at the moment this level that we are which is obviously an 8 hour level is 127.97 look to the left quite a bit of interaction here um, and it's a big level on the 8 hour and the 8 hour trend is still down and that's coming up to the 155 8 hour there is a possibility that we reject this uh, a pretty strong possibility that we reject that as well which would then put this head and shoulders pattern uh, or inverse head and shoulders pattern It'll basically destroy it make it null and void so yeah I'm in two minds I think uh, watch down here at 125.28 126.23 if we can hold that level so if price comes back and we start holding it uh, don't break below this uh, fractal level here which is 124.73 here's options to buy and then we're looking for that uh, if this rejects here comes back makes a low high then that is the opportunity to sell or fear I would assume and uh, anticipate a bigger move down okay so that's uh, euro USD uh, US dollar Japanese yen uh, so we've rejected the levels uh, as expected 105.643 nice grouping of our oscillators uh, range bar rejection bar nice tight rejection at the moment there uh, trend is up at the moment so we've got a pretty solid crossover on the three hours so I would assume a pullback so we can have I mean I'm gonna look left here you can see there's a lot of areas that you can do so there's one area there that's 104.779 then you've got another one down here at 104.593.95 and then you've got this area here as well uh, which is uh, 104.411 that's a nice deep pullback and that is going to come and test the 155 EMA now moving down to the hour you'll see one way traffic by the looks of things to the downside but I would be watching this 104.411 area that would be fairly interesting for me and I'm just going to take this level here because we've got a pretty solid break here so 104.970 is the line of sand for me if we can come back just test that reject it that's the entry for the short but pay attention to this 104.411 so um, we're, we're in a, an interesting position on, on the dollar here so we've got um, higher time frame as one one direction lower time frame as another direction so and they're going to equalize so what you're looking for is either the eight hour trend to go in the direction that the uh, the one hour trend is going now uh, or alternatively the one hour trend is going to realign itself and carry on in the in the trend direction of the eight hour so that's kind of what you're looking for so it's kind of difficult to trade those kind of uh, transition periods you just got to keep your wits about you and uh, keep your bigger levels in mind because those levels will be bought or sold as well okay so British pound Japanese yen uh, nothing really has changed here we had a, a channel break does look like we're coming back I would assume we're going to come back to 144.094 
So let's just get to the hour. This is a channel break. Uh, this is the target of the channel break. So it's 144.094. I'm not looking for shorts on this. The trend is up on all time frames right now. Um, so this, even if it does pull back, I think this is the buying opportunity down here at 144.094. Okay, so um, that's uh, British pound, Japanese yen, Aussie dollar, US dollar, similar kind of scenario here. So we've got the channel, we've got the channel break. Trend is up on the eighth hour, and it is staying up. It came back down to the 155 EMA, and then bounced the upside. So oscillators are starting to group the upside, which indicates we should be looking for a pullback. I would expect that pullback to be somewhere on these levels here, which we put in yesterday. So let's just realign them so it's going to be or we can add another level so let's take the bottom level out and put that one in there okay you see three touches on that and that is zero seven six nine eight five so pull back into this area looking for a move to the upside uh, pull back even deeper uh, zero seven six eight one nine looking for a move to the upside so of all three dollar pairs that i'm watching Aussie dollar, US dollar is the one that the trend is still intact and we're still moving to the upside. So that indicates weak dollar. So the other two pairs, we've been flirting with the stronger dollar outlook that was starting to creep in. And now um, Aussie dollar is confirming weak dollar at the moment. So no reason to be shorting this one. You're looking for opportunities to buy into it. Uh, Euro, British pound. We had a triangle yesterday and phew, we've got a rejection of an area. Uh, let's just have a look to see whether we need to get rid of uh, the triangle. Okay, so I'm not really going to worry about the diagonal just yet. We are flirting with it. This kind of price action, that's barbed wire, that's sideways. Trend is down. Should still be looking to sell, as I said yesterday. We did reject this level yesterday, 087944. But looking at that, I'm not interested in that. You're probably going to find that we're forming some kind of a head and shoulders here. So the, the diagonal is going to be that 25% probability that this thing fails, this wedge. Okay, so what we're looking for here is 087635, break and retest to that. But look at your oscillators here. Uh, no real reason to be looking to short when they're looking like that. This is looking like a pretty good level. So uh, this one for me is sit on hands. You've got two areas here. We've got 087738 and then we've got uh, 087635. And I want one of them has to give away. And we've got all these uh, gaps here as well running up. So it wouldn't surprise me to see us move down. The trend is down. We're below the moving averages. Moving averages all pointing down, all indicating that we should be looking to sell. So that's probably the better trade. But it is sideways. It's going to frustrate me. So I'm not interested in that one. Lastly, British pound, New Zealand dollar. Uh, we rejected this level yet again, and uh, it looks like that rejection is continuing. So the level we're referring to is 191.663. I'm still of the opinion that we are ranging right now and uh, consolidating for a change in direction. In other words, we've moved down. We've now got pretty volatile here in the zone, and now we're looking for structure uh, to indicate some breaks to the upside. And these things don't happen overnight. They do take their time. So one of the things that we can do with this one is I'm just going to clean all the nonsense here. I'm going to switch to a Fibonacci. And you can see it's 51% Fibonacci after some support. And then we've got the 61.8 right here on a level. So that's the area I'd be watching. Uh, 189. Where is it? 189883. Looking for a pullback into this area. That would be a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. And at the same time, it is forming a pretty solid wedge. So nice move up, consolidating the wedge into structure. And then I'd be looking for a second move. Now, the second move is what's really interesting me because that come from the lowest point there take us to there let's just go back to the eight hour and you'll see that will break above this area of resistance at the moment so that's what i'm looking at at the moment okay so uh, that will 
it's been on my radar for a while and it is starting to look like it's getting to an interesting area where I'd be looking to buy. So anything from where we are now to 189.883, I'm looking for price action. So you can see there's really price action for me here, these tails. Um, I must actually do a video on that. But uh, you can see whenever you get three or more tails in an area or of a level like there, you get movement. And there's another one. And there's another one. But anyway, that's for another day. So anyway, that's it for me today. Watching this one uh, does look like it's going to offer some really good uh, opportunities. The only problem is that your stop is fairly low. So what you want to do is wait for the structure and then get the structure confirmed, then you can have the stop just below the structure and then look for the measured move. Anyway guys, um, that's it for me today, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.